Hi, in this video I'm going to show you what you need to do after winter storage to get all the antifreeze out of your camper's water lines and fill it with fresh water so you're ready to go for your first trip of the season. I'm Jason from Weekend RV Adventures and I share camping tips, tricks, and some of my favorite gear. I've just moved my camper up into the driveway after winter storage and I'm going to get it ready for my first trip of the season. The first thing I'm going to do is dewinterize the water system. That means draining the antifreeze out and purging all the air out of the lines and filling them up with fresh water. It's not a very hard process and you should be able to get it done in about half an hour. To start, I'm going to take my hose, connect it into my fresh water fill for my tank, and start filling that tank up. While the tank's filling, I'm going to go under my camper and locate my low point drains, open them up, and let the antifreeze start draining out of the system. Okay, we're down here under my camper, and here's my low point drains. I have a red drain for the hot line and a blue drain for the cold line. There's a valve on each drain. I'm going to go ahead and open each one of these drains one at a time and we'll let some of that antifreeze just flow out. Now with some water in the tank from the hose I'm going to go turn my pump on and let it pump the rest of the antifreeze out until these lines run clear. You can see with the pump running, there's quite a bit more water coming out now, and we've got a clear stream from the cold line. And it looks like the hot line is now turned clear as well. So I'm going to go turn the pump off, close these valves, and we can start working on the rest of the fixtures. Now that I've drained most of the antifreeze out using the freshwater pump, I'm going to take the hose out of the tank fill and move it over to my city water connection. This way I can make sure I've got all the antifreeze out of the city water connection lines as well, and then go flush out the rest of the fixtures. I'll start with the outdoor shower, and then with the outdoor kitchen sink, and then move inside. That way, I dump most of the antifreeze out onto the ground instead of putting it into my tanks, because I don't want to make a trip to the dump station right away when I get to the campground. As I hook up this city water connection, I want to point out that if you have a selector valve on your camper, you're going to want to make sure you're in the city water position. That way, when you connect and turn the hose on, your city water will flow up into the lines. Okay, with that secure, I'm going to go turn the hose on. Okay, the city water's turned on now, so we'll start with the hot water side. And I'll let this run for quite a while to make sure I've got all that antifreeze out. That looks pretty good. Now we'll close that valve and move on to the cold water side. And as you can see, there's still a little pink that came out there. We'll just let this one run. That looks pretty good. Now we'll move on to the next one. You're going to want to keep a hold of these flexible fittings because if there's any air in the lines, when the air purges out, that line will shoot up in the air and spray water everywhere.
Okay, now we're inside. Again, we flush the hot and cold lines on every fixture. As you can see, these will go a lot quicker now that we got most of the water out on the outside. I've got two bathrooms, so we'll repeat the process in the second bathroom. Another toilet. And now I'm going to take this shower and just hose all the antifreeze down out of the bottom of the pan there. Now if you also have a washer and dryer, you'll have to do that. I don't have a washer and dryer prep on my camper, so I can skip that step. With all your lines flushed out, there's only one thing left to do, and that's take care of your hot water heater. So first, you want to make sure that your drain plug is in there and secure with Teflon tape because if you took the drain plug out before winter and didn't put it back in, you're not going to want to open up that bypass and let it fill and gush out all over the ground. So first make sure that water heater drain plugs in and then we have to go inside and turn our bypass off so water can flow back into the hot water tank. That's because in the winter we didn't want to fill it with antifreeze but now that we've flushed all the antifreeze out of the line we want to let it fill back up with water. My water heater bypass valve is down behind this access panel in the half bathroom. So I'm going to get that panel removed and then we'll take a look inside at where the valves are. Okay, so here's my water heater. This is where the cold water line comes in to the system. Then from here, this is the bypass valve. The bypass line and this is where the hot water exits the system. So when I flip this valve right here, you can maybe hear the water flowing. That cuts off this bypass line and allows the water to flow into the tank and then out the top. You may have a valve here, here, and here. If that's the case, you'll want to open the top and bottom valves and close the valve in the bypass line. Well, that pretty much wraps up dewinterizing the water system. The only thing I've got left to do is go crack open the hot water hose on the outside and let the hot water tank fill up and let all the air out of the system. A couple other things you may want to take a look at is stocking up on supplies like your black tank chemicals, a filter for your fresh water hose, and some RV toilet paper. I'll put links in the description below to my favorite uh, products for all those things. Also, you may want to sanitize your system. So go ahead and click or tap the screen up here for my video on how to sanitize your water system. Or you can click or tap the screen down here for another video from Weekend RV Adventures. Again, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.